Hi, I'm Madam. Let's make a shadow. We've got a beautiful T-Rex on a background here. We'll just, uh, we've got our move tool selected. That's V. We'll just command click on the T-Rex. That'll select the layer. And then we're going to make a copy of the T-Rex. Command J. That. We're going to move that cup, that layer down beneath the original layer. We're going to call that shadow. And then we're going to click command U for hue saturation and turn down lightness to minus 100 like that. We're going to click command T for our transform. Then we're going to hold command down while selecting the middle handle here and just pull that down like that. And this is the basic, basic uh, shadow. Then we're going to move that a bit in place like that. We're going to maybe rotate it a bit. Command T again. We're going to zoom in here. Command T. Right click on that and select warp to get those details right. Something like that. And then we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to blur and Gaussian blur and give it like a radius of two. It's nice in this example here. Click V for your move tool and select the opacity of the, the shadow by looking, losing, <laughs> using the numbers on your keyboard. Five for 50 percent. That's quite nice. And then um, we're going to give the shadow layer a, a layer mask. Click B for your brush tool. Make that a bit bigger, 300 maybe. Yeah, something like that. Uh, make sure you've got your black color selected on a 10% opacity and just maybe like that. And then we're going to select our smudge tool and um, select the layer and maybe just draw that a bit down here. So. Something like that, yeah. And um, we could also, if there are a little bit of uh, nuances in the in the in the ground here, we could uh, work with that with the uh, smudge tool as well. Put that on 300. Is that too much? Well, that's probably fine. Maybe it should actually go down like that. that look yeah something like that and um, then if an animal is standing on grass like that you could give that a layer mask as well zoom in on the feet select your brush smaller brush size too much maybe like that 100% opacity that's zero and just remove bit of the feet like that so it looks like it's standing in the grass we also want to remove this but we don't want to affect this toe here so just select your lasso and select the area you want to work with and then we'll do the same over here command D to deselect your selection smaller here. We'll have to do the same here. We don't want to affect that part over there. We'll turn the opacity down to 30 so you've got more control. Deselect your selection. Yeah, something like that and of course you can just more time you spend on it the better it looks but something like that uh, that is the basic technique for creating a shadow thanks for watching take care and be well